Hi, my name is Keith Cox and I'm with Seafood Analytics. And today we're going to go over the list creator. And the list creator is how you can assign names that are associated with the measurements. If we look at this data set right here, this is what data looks like on the machine. It has a unit serial number, it has a timestamp, a date, and here's a group listing and a type listing, and then we have the measurements after that. And so this one is labeled as salmon and something that's been in brine. And so each one of these groups and types are associated with, with the measurement, so it's a way you can label it. And so the way to do this is you simply click on the list creator on your dashboard, which will then open up a spreadsheet. And the spreadsheet has 30 groups and 30 types. And you may name them however you want. A lot of times groups will be boat names, boat one, boat two, or a list of vendors. And the type will a lot of times be the fish species or the product that's being measured, like king salmon, coho, pink, or chum. These lists can be updated whenever you want. You can change these to Apollo, and I could change this to the Double Dipper, just by changing those. And I could go all the way down and change all 30 of them. And then once it does this, then it automatically puts that into a place that can be accessed so that so these lists can be pushed onto your device. And what that looks like is this is your desktop application. So after you adjust your groups and types, simply go to your desktop applications, select options, and then after your device is plugged in and turned on to your computer, you can select update lists on device and you will see the lists change on your device. It's in a very similar way to uploading the data. And so thank you very much. And if you have any questions, please call or contact somebody.